Welcome to the Philippine Edu Webinar. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Uh, this event is in collaboration with QSR Corporation, a Google Cloud and Education partner in the Philippines. Uh, this is also in collaboration with Google Educators Group from the GG Philippines and Easter Company. Today's session will help us to learn how to master and start doing a self-paced learning with HyperDocs uh, together with our speaker this evening. He is, to introduce to you everybody, he is a uh, EdTech coach and a Google Educators Group leader here in South Manila, Philippines. He is also a Google, Google certified uh, innovator and an also a Google certified education level one and two. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you our speaker, Mr. Adrian Cruz. Hi, sir, Adrian. Thank you very much. Hello po, maraming salamat po. Okay, so ang topic ko po ngayon ay self-paced learning with hyperdocs. Ayan, maraming salamat. Okay. Kita niyo na po yung aking presentation? Yes, sir, Adrian. Okay. Now, I'd like to discuss first, what is a hyperdoc? Um, sa mga nagtatanong, baka narinig niyo na to before, it's actually a term used to describe a Google Doc or a Google Document for students where all the components of learning are in just one material. So it can be in Google Docs or in Google Slides. So it's also an innovative way to put an entire interactive digital lesson into your students' hands. Lalo na po ngayon ano, na we are having this uh, school closure, naka-quarantine po tayo. How do we really reach out with our students and make it make our lessons productive? Now, may mga teachers po, no? although hindi naman talaga natin masisi, na we're not really prepared for this kind of... Uh, no, of event no hindi natin inaasahan na merong magkakaroon ng quarantine so syempre as teachers tayo po ay naalarma din kung paano ba natin itatawid yung lessons natin with our students and take no teachers kung ano po yung live lessons na ginagawa natin inside the classroom i think impossible din po na to give the exact or to spend the exact number of hours then online Let's say, um, if we meet our students, let's say, one to two hours per day, total of ilan yun? Ten hours maybe in a week. Um, expect that when you go online, ano, you try to come up with a simpler version and wherein all of the, the materials are concise or kumbaga pinagsama-sama din para din for the students and for the parents as well, hindi burden na, na tutok na tutok or babad na babad ang mga students online. Kasi syempre, we don't also want our parents to complain na hindi na natapos ang mga bata or like buong araw na or buong, buo, the, the whole or the entire quarantine period nakaharap lang sa, sa, sa computer. Kasi nga, syempre, given we just, you're just, maybe teaching one subject, but they have like how many, 8 to 10, 12 subjects. So, yun nga. So, how do we use HyperDoc? Ayan. So, HyperDoc actually was coined by the educators Lisa Highfield, Kelly Hilton, and Sarah Landis who created the book, the HyperDoc Handbook. So, pwede nyo po yun ma-download. Um, so, sila po ang nag ng term na hyperdoc. So hyperdocs are so much more than just a doc with hyperlinks. So hindi lang siya basa-basa na okay, one Google document or one slide presentation wherein all the links are there. But what's the benefit of of creating a hyperdoc for our students? So one would be this is not just a, a link document, but it's carefully crafted digital lesson plans that require educators to have a mindset of thoughtful pedagogy. So, ibig sabihin din po na our lesson plans, normally, kung, kung, kung 
dinideliver natin to in an actual classroom, we start with creating our lesson plan, then putting a uh, putting uh, motivation, and then executing the lesson plan. Tama? We do lectures, and then we give a uh, short activities, and then we do lectures again, and then we 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 brainstorm or we talk about with the students. May recitation, tama po? Hagang sa mag quiz exam hagas sa performance task but also in creating a hyperdoc we all put it in just in one document para we also help the students how to become independent how to have a self paced learning yun po ang topic natin ano so we make our students independent with the materials that we give Ayan. what else so a hyperdoc is packaged learning and visually engaging experience. So it's not just a link document, but we make sure that this hyperdoc will help them to become engaged. Kahit hindi nyo kaharap ang students, as long as you've prepared your hyperdoc in a way that they will be, you know, more interested to learn, packaged learning. The other one would be Ayan. How students use technology to connect, think, critically, and collaborate. So, ibig sabihin po, um, with, uh, with the hyperdocs, it's not just a reading material that you mo na sa mga bata, and then we're done. But when we create a hyperdoc for the students, you let them explore, you let them discover, you help them connect to create their own, express themselves, to become, uh, to, to, to be able to think critically and also to collaborate. Now, I've prepared actually a sample template of a hyperdoc in Google Slides. So, ito po na yung pinapakita ko ngayon so, is in, a, in a Google Slide presentation. So, right now, I'll escape. Papakita po po papakita ko kung paano gumawa ng, ng hyperdoc. So, let's say, beginning with the slide, if we're going to give this to your student, first would be, you put the title of your lesson. So, let's say, if, you're, if your first topic would be, because I'm teaching Earth and Life Science, and so maybe, here, introduction, to earth life science. Ayan. So again, you have to put there, ano ba, ano ba yung dapat nandyan? Ano yung dapat i-expect ng student na makita sa material na ibibigay mo? The other one is uh, lesson objectives, definitely. Kung may ibibigay ka ng material sa student, they, you have to determine already the objectives. Doon po tayo mag, doon talaga tayo magsisimula din. Ano? It has to be very clear but at the same time, the student, the student uh, will know the expectation from them or kung ano yung matututunan din nila. Again, uh, nalimutan ko bagay din kanina, no? setting up your hype, hyperdox. Number one, you have to choose your objectives. That's number one. Number two, determine um, which resources to use. Ano ba mga gagamitin mo to put in your slides? yung mga links mo or your materials, where will you get it? Definitely, pinag-aralan mo rin muna ito. Hinaanap mo from different websites na syempre dapat credible websites. What else? And number three, set up your hyperdoc. This is the third step na, it, na tinuturo ko ngayon. So if this is your that you're going to give for your student, your introduction, and then you let them read. Now, here on the right side, you can give them a video. Now, bago po tayo nag-start, ano, pinrepare ko na yung mga materials or yung mga 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 websites na gagamitin natin for this day. For tonight. Ayan. So, video. If, so, if I want to come up with a, a video, I have here introduction to Earth and Life Science. I'll just have to copy this link. And copy. And then from here, 
there is a feature here in Google Slides where you just go to insert and then video. So maganda dito is that uh, you don't have to download any YouTube videos anymore and attach it to a presentation here. You can just browse kung meron. Pero ito, um, yung niyos ko, paste the link. And then, let it load. And then, set. So itong video should be here in this. Uh, at dahil gumawa na, no? ng template, ififit ko na lang siya dun sa ginawa ko. So, ganina, you have to make sure that the hypercrate is visually engaging. So, may, may, ano dito, may involvement ng, ano, ng uh, styling. You have to know how to mix it. I'll proceed with my next slide. Okay. In here naman, I've already added more um, details to my my presentation or hyperdoc kung saan babasahin ng mga bata. But here, we also want them to be um, parang ano ba, participative on this. Ayan. So here, we can ask the students after reading the material. May nagpa-play na video. Ayan, sorry, but it's playing. Wait lang. Sandali lang po. We'll just have to stop the video play. Sa mga ano po, sa mga teachers po nanonood, um, pwede po kayo mag-comment sa comment sections if you have questions. I'll just load lang po. Sir Alvin, are you still there? Yes, sir, Adrian. Ayan, pasensya na po. May, may... This can be very uh, eye-catchy sa mga students natin, sir. Mm -hmm. By using the phones. And nakakatuwa uh, niya, yung goal natin to make teachers as a guide rather than the main person on stage, yes. that can really help a lot. Mga bata, pwede na rin silang magkaroon ng uh, self-paced self -paced learning. Yes, tama po. Kasi again, tama po. Again, ano, hindi natin talaga matututukan yung mga students 24-7. Yes, and we sir. cannot just give them from time to time, ah, may naisip ka. And then, uh, bigla mong ibibigay lang yung document, yung, ibibigay yes. mo yung gusto mong ipagawa. But with this one, you make, you, you collect all your materials, all your all your presentation or your services in just para again oh yes actually isa rin sa magandang effects nitong hyperdoxer is pwedeng i-control ni teacher what kinds of informations yung gusto niyang yes. i-expose sa mga bata in our time today na very much rampant ang fake news some students use files and informations na hindi naman accurate True. Teachers Totoo can control the uh, materials na pwede nilang or dapat gamitin ng mga bata using our products. Tama po. Tama. Thank you, Sir Alvin. Ano? Yes, okay. Sir. So, balik ako dito sa aking slides na wala na yung kaninang na tumutunog sa background. Very sorry po for that. So, with this one, while you let the students read some of the materials dito, on the right side naman, you can also ask questions like list three fun facts you learned in the video. 
So, nasan yung video? So, sa instruction ko dito, watch the video below and answer the following questions on your left. Ayan. On your right pala, sorry. Ayan, palitan natin. So again, we do what we did earlier, no? attach a link dito. And then here, we let the students put their three fun facts about the video. And then here, list one item you had prior knowledge or you already know before the video. So with this one, nalalaman mo na yung student mo, sin pinapanood talaga yung, yung video na binibigay mo. Kasi again, you don't want your efforts to be wasted. You, you 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 know that the students are viewing the videos, the materials that you give. If you have a follow-up questions after, na nakikita mo, ah, naman yung sinasagot nila. Ibig sabihin, you na-engage mo sila, nakakuha mo yung attention nila. They answer. Ayan. With the next slide. Um learn. There's a learn part. They have to read. And then these are different uh, resources that you can. So here, nakalagay, start by reading the following information below. Ayan. So I have three links. This is the first one. So, kinawa ko siya sa TED. Again, teacher, this is a very good resource um, site, si TED-Ed. May mga activities na rin na pwedeng sagutan yung mga students. So you can assign the link here. There's two ways how to put the link. One is just pasting the link. That's it. Copy and paste. Pero yung maganda, no? Kung gusto na jo formal, mas clean looking. We can just uh, number one, Ted Ed. And material. And then what I'll do, like the words, and then look for link. Ito, yung symbol na insert link. And then from here. You can just paste. Ayan. Just more uh, clean, visually appealing then. And then let's say I have one more PDF file naman. So again, any resource material, it can be a Google uh, document, PDF, even photos, YouTube videos, or from files from your Google Drive. Ayan. I'll just copy and then hide it sa word na link para mabilis one technique also is that you also leave uh, a notes area in your hyper docs so that if the students would really want to add no be questions he or she can just put it there. And then maybe kapag nasilip mo yung material, pwede mo rin as a teacher. Next. After giving some reading material, mga papanoorin, let's assess. How much did you learn? Let's find out by taking this short plan. So even with this material, no, it's not just a reading material material but you can also attach google forms wherein let's say if not if not an if not a lengthy quiz or maybe an or a worksheet to google forms so i've created a demo a worksheet demo so what i have to do is to get the link of this google form i'll just click send and then click the link here so lahat po nito, eh, puro linking ang gagawin natin. You just have to copy and then go back to the slide 
and then paste it here. Let's find out by taking this short quiz. So you can highlight the word this. So maganda dito no, hindi mo binibigay ng pa isa-isa yung mga yung mga presentations mo or yung mga files mo sa students. So it's all in one. Again, hindi rin cluttered for you, hindi cluttered for them. They all know that this is where this all the things that I need are just in in this document. If you're not using a Google Classroom, pero again if you're using a Google Classroom, magandang practice pa rin po ito na in a document, it's all collated. Ayan. And then let's say, sabihin na natin yung student nyo, hindi masyadong maganda yung results ng quiz. You can also add here, here's an additional document to prepare you better for our long quiz. Ayan. So you, you add more materials. So yung additional document. These are for, ano, for the others na medyo na left behind. Kasi may mga students din tayo na advise. This is very good for for yung mga advanced students kasi they can work individually at least pwede silang tumuloy-tuloy sa mga next um like next topics or next uh, materials for the students sa na medyo na naiiwan ng onte you can give more materials to them yeah. So link lang po tayo ng link Or if you want naman, let's say the presentation or if you want them to review the material from the earlier slides, you can also, instead of a, instead of a, a link, doon tayo sa ano, slide per slide. So for example, this one. Let's say, let's say I'll, I'll um, highlight the word document, for example. Oh, sorry. We, we, instead of putting the link, we look for slides in this presentation. And then from, the, from there, tatanungin ka kung slide one, two, three, four, five, or anywhere from that. So if you've reviewed your material, maybe it's in slide eight. And so if, if the student viewed the, the, this link, it will redirect her to Slide number eight. Again, natin ang bakit. Next. This one also, you with this hyperdoc, you also give opportunities for the students to collaborate with one another. So let's say you can prepare maybe another slide presentation for group one or group two, group three, wherein students can, can edit slides at the same time, give them tasks as an activity for, for them. And then here, you also put the performance task. With this one, you can introduce new tools, new apps. So for example, in my performance task, after they've learned everything, um, you can use PictoChart. Let's say um, your task one would to create an Graphic. Ayan. So to create an infographic and um, expose to the creative student, there's a website where um, you can create an infographic. You can teach your students this. So pictochart.com. You can explore this. Very nice tool, no? If you want your students to um, put all the things they've learned in just one poster. Ayan. So I've, I've clicked the, the website. The link of the website, I copied it. And then I'll put it here. Use picture chart. And then I'll paste. And then for example, performance task. Create a video not more than five minutes about what you've learned so that others can also learn from you. So 
insert the link to your video below via link or through Google Drive or YouTube and set as unlisted. Again, teachers, in giving these kind of uh, instructions or materials to them, you have to make sure na, ano, na all the directions are there, very clear, so that they can just read and follow the guidelines. The other one, um, again, hindi ko na po ipapakita na, you can just, the, the students will just put the, the YouTube videos in the boxes provided. And then if you want to be, um, let's say, mas strategic pa, lalo na ngayon na you have to incorporate or integrate distance learning strategies, I have prepared a sample template again. There. This is a template that I've prepared. So notes from the student. So you can ask them to insert their face here. Yung mga students kayo, no? they, they love taking pictures. So it can be fun for them. And then notes from, from your student. And then if you have additional notes or reminders to, to, your, to your student, you can just leave it here. Now, again, if you're going to give a weekly task, let's say Monday to Friday or Monday to Thursday, I suggest that you put it in colors. Let's say Monday, it's red. And then there are checklists. So may bullets na. And then you can drag the smiley faces if they're done. So it's more cute, <laughs> well, engaging for them. And then for Tuesday, it's color green. Same thing, checklist, and let's say you have your lesson materials. This can be a strategy for you para, again, it's more organized for the students. Very clean, um, madaling makita, mahanap, ma-recognize. Ah, nasang araw na ba ako? So again, for Wednesday and then for Thursday. And maybe I'll just leave Friday as their break. Ano? Kasi, again, we don't want the students to be in front of the screens every time. Or maybe if you want... That you, you you allocate another day for maybe an online class wherein you just ask your students how they are or if they have any questions so that you can also address it personally. Well, not personally, but, you know, um, through, through the webcam. Ayan. So th these are just simple tips and tricks how to integrate the... Uh, distance learning strategies with the use of HyperDocs through slides or maybe through Google Docs. Ayan. Um, maraming salamat po sa mga nanonood ngayon. May mga questions po? Actually, may question ako si Adrian. No? So, yes, how about you are using... Uh, Google slide presentation for this. So, ang gagawin ba ng mga students natin, sir, is to make a copy of their own slide? Oh, so that they can ayan, edit it. ayan po pala. Thank you very much for, ano, for, for reminding me. Ito po ang pina, isa sa mga magaganda dito na feature. Now, again, if you give this to your student, ang mangyayari niyan, may, they'll be in one presentation, tama? All of them will be just in this document. And we don't want that kasi guguluhin nila yan, tama po? So, ang yes. trick po dito, if you want to give this to your students, um, you just highlight the link, yung nasa tuktok. Again po, this, um, this is what you call Omnibox where the links can be found. Ayan. So, dito, di ba po, usually, ibibigay na link for them to access. So once we share, get the shareable link. Copy po natin. Uh,
sa dulo po, papalitan natin. Hanggang dun sa word na edit. Instead of the word edit, what we're going to put is copy. Bakit po? Para kapag binigay nyo po itong link na to for the students, they will be forced to make a copy. Ayan. Would you like to make a copy of self-paced learning with Hyperdocs? Make a copy. There's no other way but to make a copy. So this is one trick also for the students and for the teachers. Kung medyo naguguluhan sila or nalilito how to give it to your students na hindi nila may edit or mabubura yung mga ginawa mo, you put it for copy. You just edit the, the link hanggang dun sa word na edit and replace it with copy. Ayan. Thank you, sir, sa, sa question yes, sir. po na yun. Ano? For the others po, may sa mga nanonood po, meron po yeah, kayong... Uh, question, sir, from ICT sir? office. The question po niyo, sir. Okay. Pwede po ba during assessment hindi makaproceed to the next slide ng students unless he passed the assessment or answered the assessment prior to the assessment? Oh, eto naman sir, ano, thank you, thank you po sa nagtanong ako po dito, ano. I'll exit my screen. Okay, so ang mangyayari po dyan, well, this is just one strategy na pwede nyo gamitin. What you can do is to cut your presentation into half. Let's say, uh, tapusin nyo yung presentation na binigay nyo hanggang dun sa quiz na ibibigay nyo. And then kapag sinagutan na ni student yung quiz in the thank you response for answering, you can put there the continuation of the slides. So that's one trick po. If you just, if you want to hold your other presentations. But at least, naka-ano pa rin, naka-thread pa rin siya. Naka-loop pa rin po siya. Naka-dugtong. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Po. So, batiin, batiin ko lang din po no, yung mga nanonood. Sir Kevin, thank you very much for, for watching. Sorry, ICT yeah. office. Uh, Ma'am Thelma, so, thank you very much. Ms. Maina, Ms. Dorothy. Ayan. Thank you very much. So, kung meron pa po kayong mga tanong, Kung may mga questions pa po, you can just leave it, leave in the comment section and then we'll answer it. Again, this is a series of webinars until the 7th of April. So, thank you very much for watching. We we hope to see you soon and see you in the coming days po sa mga webinars. Marami pa pong in store for the teachers and for other other professionals who would really want to, to learn more from the G Suite tools and other apps. Again, good evening po. Maraming salamat. Ako po si Adrian. Sir Alvin po, thank you again, Sir Adrian. And to all okay, our Thank viewers. you very much. Thank Keep you po safe. sa lahat. Magandang